Okay, so recently I was stuck without having a headset or a way to speak. And I used to use like a microphone and just my headphones. I still have really, gr really good headphones. But uh, the mic kind of got fucky, so I threw it out. And I was like, okay. And I was like, okay, well, I need a headset. And... I didn't know anything about gaming headsets because I had my microphone because I never really had my microphone and headphones so it really wasn't anything I needed. So I was like, okay, screw it. I know, like I've heard of Turtle Beaches from back in my Call of Duty days, but it was just something I was never, never really had a real gaming headset, you know. I just had my headphones. But really, it was a superior thing. It's just the microphone when it's like kind of... One, it's like, it's a little bit away from you because it's got to stand up somewhere. What's this doing here? It's good to know. Um, yeah, so like the microphone's like kind of away from you and it'll pick up like farther things and stuff like that. But I mean, push to talk doesn't do that. I mean, push to talk will kind of take away that problem. And, uh, and I guess a standing mic will probably get the TV a little bit more often. But that was when I was like, just wanted voice through, and for some reason... I guess now they think about it, if the game can let you turn down everything else, then I guess it's no big deal. Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to use my mic and not use the headphones, because I... Something, I don't know, but maybe my head's a little too sensitive or something, but like the pressure from headphones can kind of get to me. So, yeah, but I got, so I was, like, stuck for one. I stopped by a grocery store, supermarket, whatever, and they have an electronics department. I was like, okay, let me look at the headsets they have. You know, I knew they weren't going to have anything great. This was in the PS4 ones. I checked out the PS4 and the Xbox One ones are both about the same. Then I checked out the ones they have in the computer section. They're a little bit more expensive. But uh, I think it was Logitech, and I really didn't want to spend like a hundred bucks on a headset at the grocery store. That was Logitech, so this one was like nineteen ninety nine, twenty bucks basically. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll have this one around. I'll do some re research. What happens when I want to buy something is that like, okay, I'll try to do some research on it. If I want to spend a little bit more money. But what happens is, like, I always feel like I ne didn't, like, I'll see a few things, and then I'm like, okay, there's probably more I need to consider, so let me wait till tomorrow. And then what happens, weeks pass, and I still haven't bought the thing that I need. Or, well, not like need, need, but like, you know, want and need. But, um, so I was like, okay, well, I'm probably gonna have to spend a little time figuring out my headset situation, so I'll just buy this. I'll just use this in between because I don't have a microphone anymore. And this is the shittiest thing like you ever seen. It's so low quality. You see this? You see? You see how this looks? And you see this uh microphone thing? That's at the bottom, right? This doesn't go on like this, you know. That's not how it goes on, but it can't it doesn't do that, you know, it bends it bends, like, you really can't get it in front of, like, your face, because it's, like, wired. You see that? So it's so shitty. It's so, like, it's that cheap plastic, and there's barely any cushion, so it's really uncomfortable. And it's only one, so I was like, okay, well, no big deal. It doesn't fit on your head, either. It's, like, really, like, it doesn't, like, fit around your head, like... Like, so, I mean, like, like, it doesn't fit. Like, it really doesn't fit. It's like, you see that, like, bow? It's like your head is massive, you know? It just doesn't work. Like, this will never, this will never be above your ear in that spot properly. No. There's just too much of a bend to it. 
So it's really the shittiest thing. And it's really not great quality either. The mic sucks and the audio sucks. You know, so it's just not made for humans. It's the shittiest thing. No, I took it off one side, but but not the other, so that's why that's on there. But it's the shittiest thing, so I'm going to return it, get my money back, and get a different headset. But yeah, Turtle Beach, like obviously I don't care. Turtle Beach is not something I'd ever buy. Like, I know they make some good headphones if you spend, like, two, three hundred dollars. But, I mean, Turtle Beaches, especially since it was so associated back in the COD. Uh, you know, Modern Warfare 2, Montage, Black Ops 1, Montage, Quick Scoping Community. Like, you know, you know that it's not the most quality. I'd rather, I do love Sennheiser Audio. Those I, I have some Sennheiser uh, 880s, and they're so good quality. Like, I, I wouldn't say, like, I'm an audiophile mainly because I do have some hearing loss. But, I mean, I really do... It really does, like, bring out the low or... Like, not the low-end frequencies, but kind of... It almost, like, normalizes it a little bit. And it's not too bassy. Some people like bass, but I I don't know. Bass kind of gives me a headache. I love bass. I love bass grooves, you know. I, I love a lot of math rock. It has a lot of great bass, you know. So I love bass. I love the sound. But it's that kind of like really low end, moving the air. You feel it in your chest type of bass that kind of gives me a headache. I can't stand that. Exact, you know, I was actually just listening to an album... Little Lights uh, by Spy vs. Spy, and the bass is just way too much. It's a great album, and I love it, and I love Spy vs. Spy. Everything they ever did was just amazing. But, I mean, the the bass is just way too high. You know? And it's almost like I can't even listen to I had to turn the bass down on my speakers, and I usually don't adjust that because I don't have to. I usually don't have to adjust it. But, I mean, there's just so much, like... Kind of muddy. I don't want to say muddy because it's not too terribly low quality. But I mean, just that really kind of booming. The one you feel in your brain. You know, you don't hear it with your ears. You almost feel it in your brain and in your chest. That, I that I just never gotten along with. I love the sound. I like to, I like to hear it, but I don't like to feel it. And if it's overbearing like other frequencies other ranges that's just not a good thing so yeah either way this is a trash headset it's fucking ridiculous it's like it's like maybe a pound so it's super light super cheap plastic i thought it would be okay in the interim it's something i never not something i never um considered i mean something i never uh considered like a Permanent, this isn't an end game to say in headphone speaks, not an end game. But uh I'll probably get a Sennheiser one simply because I love their audio. Uh but I'll do I'll still have to do some research. I also don't want to spend too much money because it is just a gaming headset. You know, it really is just a gaming headset. I'm not spending three hundred dollars, you know. That's more than my headphones cost. And I'm sure my headphones are better quality than these gaming headsets. Even though I feel like gaming headsets, the better thing is for the audio rather than the mic. Because you really need to hear. But, yeah, that's whatever. Anyway, this is going in the trash or I'm going to return it. still have the receipt, so I'll probably just return it. But, whatever. 